contouring, I prefer contouring before highlighting. The reason being is that it would just be easier to blend in the lighter shade to create the transition between the dark and the light. Some people bronze before contouring and that's okay. Like I mentioned, the areas of bronzers are a lot wider and bigger than the areas for the contouring. The contouring is very specific to certain placements than the bronzer. If you're choosing to contour before you bronze, leave some room for the transition shade between the dark contour and the warmer bronzer. Now, if you choose to use cream before powder for your contour, what you would do is, let's do that now. So I'm gonna show you how I use this cream contour palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills in medium. And as you noticed here, there are three shades of brown and there is like a beige color, a yellow, and a peach. These two are color correcting uh, creams. This one, I believe, is to neutralize some of this warmness in, in these contour shades. Now, if you take this one, this is fairly warm. If you see on my hand, it's very dark, but it's got like a reddish undertone. And this one as well. So if I take in a little bit of this beige, watch what happens. It, it tones it down into more of a cooler shade. So that's what I'm gonna do. So let's take a little bit and mix in with these two. And uh, now I'm gonna show you for a heart-shaped face where we would contour. Now, my forehead for a heart shape is wide, so I'm gonna throw in a little bit of contouring right here. And uh, my cheekbones, now never do this when you contour. This is absolutely wrong. When you do this, you are really like going in and you're creating a very unnatural um, face shape for yourself. What I would normally do is do this, go right on the top of your ears, right here where the bone is, where you can see where that cheekbone is, right? What you're gonna do is you're gonna lift that cheekbone up by throwing in shadow underneath it. If you throw shadow here, your cheekbone is gonna be low and it's gonna look like it's sagging. But when you take your cheekbone high, when you highlight above it, your cheekbone looks higher. So let's do that. So that's where I'm going to go and that's where I'm going to go. And now for my chin, so heart shapes, the chin is pointed. So I'm just gonna throw in a little bit of shadow here and I'm just gonna take it out a little bit here as well because I have a little bit of a structure here. I'm between heart and square. So right here would be where it would balance my face. And now I'm going to go for my nose. So let's take a little bit of this again, put it at the back of the hand, and for my nose, I'm just gonna take it a little bit on the tip, a little bit across, and then I'm just gonna take a little bit on the bridge of my nose here. And now I'm gonna blend in with my finger, just the nose area. And uh, I'm going to use a foundation brush, cream, to blend out the contour. Now, on my cheekbones, I'm going to blend it outwards, but I'm not going to go past the corner of my eyes. I'm not bringing it too in. I'm just going to stop right here. For my jawline, I'm going to blend this down. And for my forehead, and the temples, I'm just gonna blend them into the hairline. So see, I stopped right here and blending. So now you can see there is better dimension on my face, structure, everything's balanced out. So now I'm going to show you how I highlight this face. So taking the, the lighter shade concealer, 
put it in the back of my hand. I'm going to take the concealer brush again, pick up a little bit. I want to highlight my cheekbones, so I'm just going to put a little bit up here. And I also want to highlight this corner of my eye here because I get that to be, I get that dark and just go and blend it under the eyes. I want to highlight these laugh lines here. So when you highlight, you kind of give it more space and even it looks like it's fuller. I'm going to highlight the center of my chin, my cupid's bow or right here under my nose. And I want to highlight right here because I want this to look a little wider. Corners of my lip to lift it up. And I'm going to highlight in between. But I'm not going to go too far up. Let's keep low because the width and the length of my forehead is big. I want to keep this low. So go back in with the brush. Whatever is left of the contour, you can just blend it slightly around the edges so that way that light and the dark blend in together. I also want to highlight the center of my nose. So for that I'm going to use a thin brush. I'm going to use a flat concealer brush just because this is a small area and just like that I am creating with the darkness around the outside and the light in the center it's narrowed down my nose and it's given a little bit of an upturn so just highlighting between the eyebrows here just where you're contoured so that your nose looks slimmer. Now you see that completely reshaped the structure of my face and just go lightly over that contour. So now I want to explain how you highlight different face shapes. So if you have a round face, where do you highlight? You would highlight the center of your chin and you would highlight your forehead because you want to make this look longer your chin is small so you want to highlight the chin so that your chin would look bigger you would highlight um, on your cheeks a little bit on your nose here and a little bit around your lip so that you balance that with the contour if you are square you would put a little bit on your chin because you have a shorter chin. You would uh, put a little bit on your uh, cheekbone, put it around your lip, and you would do a little bit on the center of your forehead and a little bit around your eyes. You wouldn't put any, one, any more highlight here because you already got a big jaw, so you want to make sure that you avoid highlight there. You just want to highlight here, a little bit in the center, upper lip and your chin. If you're oval, you would put your highlight on your chin, cheekbones, upper lip, nose, and your forehead. So those are the differences. Now I'm going to show you how I set this using a setting powder. 